So back at AKA headquarters, where it all started. Good to be home, finishing up my last week before the fight. So here, as you're walking up the stairs, you see all the photos of all the guys in combat. It's awesome seeing the team in action. Vintage DC when he was just a strike force champ. Now he's the king of the light heavyweight division. What's up, guys? It's Daniel Cormier. We're here at American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, and we've welcomed back our boy Mike Swick. You know, it's great to have Swicky in the gym. When I first started, you know, Mike was fighting over and over in the UFC consistently. And then he had his injuries, you know, so it was, I knew it was hard on Mike uh, not being able to fight. You know, the guy's a fighter, and, and now he's finally getting back to go inside of the octagon. UFC 189 next week in Las Vegas, he's fighting Alex Garcia. Uh, maybe we'll see a swick team. We will definitely see fast hands from Mike Swick, and he's got a great training camp at AKA Thailand. I'm very excited to have Mike back in the gym, and I'm very excited to see him step back in the octagon. Mike, good luck, buddy, and congratulations on the comeback. Fights up here when I fought Marcus Davis. Ben Saunders, Gideon Ray, Paul Vinatello, Fitch and BJ. So here's our cardio area. I do the elliptical more than anything, so this is my, this is my baby right there. Putting in a lot of work doing sprints. We're at AKA headquarters in San Jose. Uh, we're 13 days out of the fight. Uh, we've been here about four or five days. Being a Sunday, it's obviously closed. Javier Mendez came in and uh, they did some pad work together. And Mike's doing a good 20, 30 minute session on the elliptical to keep his cardio up. Tomorrow is the beginning of the last week of his training. So he's gonna hit it hard this, the rest of the week. He'll be um, doing sparring, obviously continuing his cardio and pretty much just listen to whatever Javier Mendez tells him to do. So in front of the cardio area, there's the jiu-jitsu area. This is our main jiu-jitsu room. So that's where we do all of our grappling, our technique rolling. Germany brand. Mike is one of the OGs, one of the first guys to start this team, really build it into what it is today. It's, uh, it's cool to see him back, you know, getting, getting this, this fight coming up at 189 against Alex Garcia. I think it's a great fight. Stylistically, it's a good fight to come back on, and, and I think Mike should go out there and perform really very well. He looks sharp, looks clean. I think the time off has given him a chance to heal and, and get healthy and, uh, and come back with, the, with, his, with his head in the game. You know, I think he's he's healthy. Seems like he's fighting with a clear conscience, and uh, I'm excited to see what you know the outcome. But uh, it's great to have him back. And look on another level over here. Next it's time to be on another level. The cool thing about this facility is everything on the downstairs is visible from the upstairs. So you can come up here and watch. Like you'll have people come up and watch our sparring. This is our sparring room. Great visual from up here. See the guys working. These are the guys that have fights coming up. Javier sits on that ball right there and coaches us. It's just like a fight. I mean, we go hard. So it's kind of like experience. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we pretty much have a fight. Well, this coming week, what we're going to do with Mike is we're not going to work him super long, but we're going to work him super hard. Everything's going to be short and sweet. And uh, he has to get to that point where he feels that comfortable that he can go good, solid, three hard rounds uh, with really tough guys. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to shorten him up because he's going to want to do more than he needs to because he's in great shape now. And the uh, biggest problem we're going to have is getting him to hold back. And uh, that's what I need to do. So the good thing about Mike is he listens and he knows that when he's here, I'm the head coach and I'm going to tell him what he's going to need to do. And he's just going to follow the instructions. And he's never had a problem with that. Uh, he does question things, but he still goes along with what I say, even though he has a debate with me. He still says, OK, Hop, I'm going to listen to whatever you're going to do. And he always has. He always will. So I don't think we're going to have a problem, but we're definitely going to be uh, tailoring them down some. Not, not, not the, the importance of it is going to be super hard, but not going to be super long. So this coming week is going to be super short, but not, not long and super hard. And also it's going to be wrestling. He'll be wrestling on Tuesday, doing jujitsu on Thursday, just like we do here. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he'll, he'll be hitting um, you know, the sparring and then uh, he'll be hitting pads with me on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. 
This is the main room where it goes down. All the guys work, we spar, we grapple. We, we do it all in this room. This would be equal to our main room in, in AK Thailand. It was designed based on this room basically. So this is kind of the, uh, the main training area for the fight team. Just had a chance, just get out, got done wrestling with uh, Mike Swick for his uh, last week of training for 189, UFC 189. It's nice to have him back here at headquarters. Uh, I've known Mike for probably about, I'd say close to 14 years now, you know, since the 98, 99 era, era of uh, AKA guys. And, um, you know, we just got done wrestling today for today's Tuesday, so we just got done uh, for wrestling day, and it's been a great day with him training, and it just feels like old times. So, this is the AKA Airdyne room. And this is where the hard work goes down. This is where uh, the team grinds it out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This has been a long-standing tradition and one of the best things we do at AKA. It's definitely good to have Mike Swick back in the gym. You know, he's been over in Thailand building a business, building a gym for a long time. You know, it's, it's difficult uh, when you got pulled in many different areas. He's got family now and, uh, you know, life's changing growing up. But uh, he's, he's here, he's training, and uh, he's getting ready to go. So this is kind of a shrine to Brian Johnson. He's kind of the reason AK ventured into MMA. He's the one that came to Javier, as you can see here, back in the day, and started training at AK for MMA. So historically, this is, this is the first step. This is, this is where it all started, where AK kind of uh, started its origins in MMA. So on the bottom walls here at AK, we have all the magazine covers. Um, you got DC here, Kane, Fitch. And here's some more. Here's the ones I did, which is it's unbelievable to even have. You know, you dream of one day having a, a magazine cover and being on the wall of a gym. And, you know, it takes a lot of hard work to get there, but I'll definitely tell you it's worth it. You know, it, it's worth all that hard work when you look up here and you see these guys and they're your teammates and yourself and, and all the guys that you've trained with. This one actually was uh, Kane, Fitch, Koscheck, and myself. Um, it was one of our only covers where we had multiple guys from AKA and uh, very memorable. Somehow I look bigger than Kane. I don't, I don't know why. And then uh, I found out about the shoot and rushed to my screen printing shop. And I got a nice plug for my screen printing shop right there. That was pretty cool. More fight posters. It's just really cool. It's really cool to see the success of everyone. Here's Thompson from Strike Force. He's almost on every poster. I mean, this, he's one of the originals here and he's had so much success. I mean, he's fought in every show at every level and done really well and still going strong, you know, still one of the best fighters in the world. So he, he's, he's a true pioneer of Team AKA. So this wall is a shrine to how AKA kind of started. This is a Capitol Glass Shop in 1985. As you can see, Javier training people inside of a garage. And that's kind of the very beginning. So the, he had the Union Avenue uh, Academy till 97. I actually came out and tried out in 98. It was the Hillsdale, they had moved to Hillsdale and that was the first time I tried out for the team. I had to try out with Frank Shamrock and, and the guys. So it was right after this when I first came. Some people might not know, but the team here after Brian Johnson, it, it, it was transformed into kind of uh, Team Shamrock. And Frank Shamrock was kind of the, he was the first big star we had at AK, and he, he was the head of the team. So he's kind of where AK started with Frank, Frank Shamrock. Everybody came in to train with him. He was the head of the team. And here's, here's a lot of his stuff. He was a superstar when we all came out here. He was fighting UFC and he was the most well-rounded MMA fighter in the world. So today's 4th of July, another holiday spent at the gym. This is the last training session for this week. Hoff came in, the guys came in. We had a really good workout. I feel really good. This camps really came together. It's been awesome to come back to headquarters here and, and train with the guys and, and finish up my camp. and and get ready for Vegas. I'm pumped, I'm confident, I'm excited, I'm healthy. It's gonna be a good one. What's up, what's up? We just got here at AKA headquarters and uh, it's, it's amazing. It's also interesting to see Mike training here. Obviously, uh, he spent his whole life training here, working, uh, working here. Uh, Mike training here is, uh, you can see, it's a kind of a blast from the past. We're basically uh, getting ready to head to uh, Vegas for fight week, so today's the last day. Or we'll see Mike in action here at AKA headquarters. It was amazing to see like AKA sign and come in and as soon as you walk through the doors you can feel like the history behind it all. It's an honor to be here after all the hard work and everything we've been doing. 23 months now we've been going. It's been an amazing journey, an amazing ride and I just 
It's unbelievable to be here. So the best part of being back home is being with the family. I'm here with the kids today at the sports complex in Silver Creek and my daughter's first soccer game. She's a little late in the season, so she doesn't have a uniform yet, but she's wearing a UFC shirt, which is amazing. So if you're going to wear something, let's wear that. And uh, I'm here to support her. Have a good day. When Savannah was born, I came home for the birth, obviously, and that is when I decided to take the fight. So that's, that's when I, same exact time I, I emailed Joe Silva and we basically signed for the fight. Got to hang out with her for a few weeks in San Jose and then went to camp. So unfortunately I missed the, the last couple months, which I'm trying to make up for now, but it's good to see her. Thanks for watching. So Mark has all the basketball experience. He's tall, he's played basketball his whole life. He thinks he can beat me. Won't happen. I'm not even a basketball player. I will manage to beat him somehow. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I'll tell you when you get to 10. Seven. All right, 47. 47, might get 46. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'll beat him. That's uh, 57. I do believe that makes me the winner. So it was a fun day today to uh, hang out with the family and uh, spend some quality time with the kids. It's good times. Uh, also play a little basketball with Mark. You know, that's his passion. That's his whole life. And uh, anytime I can slap him around at it, I uh, take pride in that as well. My passion in my life, huh? So we are in downtown San Jose, California at my screen printing shop, Spartan Screen Printing. Uh, a lot of people don't know I own a screen printing shop, but I've had it since 2008. So I'm gonna go check on it, see how things are going, show you the business. So this is the showroom. This is some of the stuff we've done. Um, obviously we're big into fighting. Um, so we've done fight posters, fight shorts. This is Daniel Cormier when he fought at HP Pavilion. We also have Josh Thompson up here. So this is the uh, original Ultimate Fighter Season 1 Finale fight poster, signed by all the guys. You got Loden, Sinkade, Florian, Rafferty, Sanchez, Sanford, Lieben, Carol Alexis, Koscheck, Schoenauer, Southworth, Griffin, Thacker, me, <laughs> Quarry, Hoger, and Bonner. <laughs> but it's cool, man. It's like, that's like 10 years ago, so, eh, historic. And then we have all these other fight posters from all these other fights I've been on. Fighting with Randy Couture and Vanderlei Silva, Hoyce Gracie, Matt Hughes, Rich Franklin, George St. Pierre. It's a little bit of history. So this is Jeff Gomez. This is my business manager and does a fantastic job keeping things afloat here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been here for about four years now. Um, basically run things A to Z. All right, heading out to the warehouse. This is basically our, uh, this is like our training facility. This is AKA Tyler for us. This is the training facility. So basically the clients come to us with artwork. They tell us what they want to do. We print out all the films and, uh, and and whatnot of that nature. We come here to the dark room. From here, we burn the artwork that the customer provides us to these screens. From there, they wash out. Bring this over to the washing station. They wash the, the screens out. Basically, leaves a textile of the image that the customer wanted. Move that over to the presses. Takes, it's a lot more complicated than this, but it takes a little bit of time and effort. They line everything up, set up the colors properly, and uh, get to printing. As you see, he's, he's working on this, actually an AKA Thailand shirt here, a little one color. They're pulling ink through the mesh, um, just a little bit of muscle, and drop it through the dryer to cure. Um, now this dryer is pretty, uh, pretty high tech has to be a specific uh, degree to get the ink properly cured. Otherwise, you're gonna get cracking and other stuff of that cheap nature like other shops do, not us. So outside of the AKA Thailand shirts, we're actually doing Mike's fight shirts coming up. Um, 
for UFC 189. So as of right now, he's working on the first of many of Mike's fight shirts for UFC 189. Um, I got into screen printing originally to print Combat Life shirts, a company I started basically to support the troops. I was doing a lot of military support tours and looking to hand out shirts to the guys when we would you know, go to the bases. So I just made up this name Combat Life and, and started putting shirts together. And you know, I figured if, if we could print them ourselves, we'd save a lot of money. So we just started literally printing Combat Life. And we had a good deal on this little warehouse and, and it just moved from there. We ended up doing Combat Life and then just doing more and now it's a full scale print shop catering to people all over the country. Some of our bigger clients, um, Cisco, Barracuda Networks, um, Tesla is one of our latest and, and biggest, um, the 49ers, of course. Um, obviously, we do um, a lot of the local schools and, and whatnot, so uh, we cater to anything from small to massive. So, this is the Combat Life Bunker, it's top secret. I can't show you the majority of it, but I'll take you into the clothing. You don't look at the password in the top secret. So this is the Combat Life storage room. This is kind of where the company started, just printing stuff for, uh, for Combat Life. So as far as the military for me, I had always wanted to go in the military growing up. That, that was always a big passion. And because I continued to pursue fighting, it took off and then one thing led to another, so I never got to enlist. So I just felt bad that I never did my part and never served my country. So I always said that if I had an opportunity, I would show support and, and do what I can to kind of give back. And once I got in the UFC, you know, the troops uh, all over the world are big supporters of the UFC and fighting. So it was a great opportunity for me to kind of give back and do tours and, and do seminars and, and, and visit the troops all over the world. So that's what I did. I went basically on every tour I could possibly go on. I've done, I think, over 25 overseas tours to 10 different countries now and many stateside. It's a great experience, you know, going overseas and, and hanging out with these guys and, and training with them. They're a very cohesive, you know, motivated group of individuals and it, it's kind of uh, it's an awesome experience overall just just hanging out with them. So these are what I collected doing all my military tours overseas. Uh, when you do support tours for the troops, they'll, they'll give you a coin. It's just a, a pretty cool thing. It, it tells their unit and what they do and it's just a collector's item that's that's really nice and, and I cherish all of these. This was given to me in uh, Afghanistan and I wore that through my whole tour and then this one was from Iraq and I uh, got it signed by all the all the troops I met during the tour. Um, as you can see right in the center is a very small coin so it's actually a presidential coin from George Bush he gave that to my mom in Kosovo so the one coin in here that I didn't get handed to me, but it got handed to my mom by obviously the president, so that's a pretty big deal. So it's right in the dead center. When you do tours, you know they're very good at presenting you with uh, certificates and 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 thanking you for coming out and showing support, which you know it's it's two ways. You know I, I enjoy meeting these guys and going and doing these tours just as much as they enjoy having us.